Hello, um, this is, will be a very shocking uh, video, uh, especially from the recent Boeing uh, MAX 737 aircraft uh, fault developed uh, in the aeroplane software uh, components. The news is that criminal stuff from Boeing and scammers were hired to develop the software for these planes which ended up killing innocent 346 people and that goes to show that all of the Boeing 737 MAX airliners have a defect in their software algorithms increasingly the iconic American plane maker and its subcontractors have relied on temporary workers making as little as nine dollars an hour to develop and test software from Indian programmers, often from countries lacking a deep background in aerospace technology, notably India. Boeing's cultivation of Indian companies appeared to pay other dividends. In recent years, it has won several orders for Indian military and commercial aircraft, such as a $22 billion, one in January 2017, to supply spice jets. That order included 10737 MAX 8 jets and represented Boeing's largest order ever from an Indian airline in a country dominated by Airbus. A costly delay. In one post, an HCL employee summarized his duties with a reference to the now infamous model, which started flight tests in January 2016, provided quick workaround to resolve production issues which resulted in not delaying flight tests of 73 max delay in each flight test will cost very big amount for boeing engineers who worked on the max which boeing began developing eight years ago to match rival airbus planes have complained of pressure getting from managers to limit the changes that might introduce extra overtime or costs the typical jetliner has millions of parts and millions of lines of codes. Sales are another reason to send the work overseas to Indian subcontractors. In exchange for an 11 billion order in 2005 from Air India, Boeing promised to invest 1.7 billion in Indian companies. That was a boon for HCL and other software programmers from India such as Scient, whose engineers were widely used in computer services industries, but not yet prominent in aerospace. So they had no idea of what they were writing lines of codes for. With a strong dollar, a big part of the attraction was price. Engineers in India made around $5 an hour. It's now $9 or $10 compared with a $35 to a $40 programmer from mainland United States and on a H-1B visa, but he'd tell clients the cheaper hourly wage equated to more like an $80 because of the need for supervision. And he said his firm won back some business to fix mistakes. So they were getting a cheap workaround to save costs on such a crucial software management administration program of an aircraft. During the crashes of Lion Air and Ethiopian Airlines, planes that killed 346 people. Investigators suspect the MCAS system pushed the planes into uncontrollable dives because of bad data from a single sensor. That design violated basic principles of redundancy for generations of Boeing engineers and the company apparently never tested to see how the software would respond. It was a stunning fail. A lot of people should have thought about this problem, not one person, and then never asked about it. Boeing also had disclosed that it learned soon after Max deliveries began in 2017 that a warning light that might have alerted crews to the issue with the sensor wasn't installed correctly and in the flight display software. A Boeing statement in May explaining why the company didn't inform regulators at the time.
said the engineers had determined it wasn't a safety issue. I am a C programmer myself. If you get one character in line of code wrong, you get an error message immediately back from the compiler for the whole subroutine to fail. In conclusion, any contract company failing to understand the project and then hiring a wrong nationality based on skilled for professionals only goes to show lack of professionalism in a, the administration level stages. There is a saying, if you put garbage in your computer, you get garbage out in return. So that is the case with hiring the wrong people or group of people to do someone else's job. Click the hand like icon if you like the topic today. And if you like the video and want to see more of these videos in future, please click the red button. And uh, thanks for watching. Thank you.